Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to be back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make my ring pop bracelet. This reminds me of an old design I made called the Dainty Twist. I used a few pins for that design. This one's made actually completely different. It uses a loom. Um, but I love how it looks. It's a lot of fun to make in my opinion. And it's easy. So I wanted to do something a little easier. And plus I love it. So if you only have one loom you can make it. But it will be about that big. And you'll need to make a chain to get it to fit your wrist. But I wanted to do something in case you only have one loom. I like to use two looms to get a full wrap around bracelet. Um, the total number of bands needed is 195. And the breakdown of that is 48 of the black. You'll need 21 of the white. You'll need 63 of the pink. And 63 of the blue. So I made a bunch of different versions here. I think it is a really cool bracelet. Hopefully you guys like it. I'm sure you will. Because I love it. <laughs> um, but without rambling on too much, we're going to get our bands ready and we can get started. To make this bracelet, you will need to have at least one loom. You want to have it a line like so in a straight line. Um, I am using two looms to avoid an extension. So I have my first loom set up. And then I have my second one set up right in front of it where that long blue base is. And I do have a video showing you how to connect them together if you're not sure how. Just remember if you're only using one rainbow loom... Your band count will be much different than mine because I'm using a lot more bands. You also need one C-clip and of course your hook. So the first band that you're going to decide on is the border, which is the black here. And I'm going to use white. We're going to start by just laying one in the middle like that loosely for when we close it up later. And then we will go to the left and to the right to start it off. And now we're going to go up the sides. If you are only using one loom, you will only lay 12 straight ones. And then you will bring it in after laying those 12. If you're doing it according to what I am doing, I lay 21 straight ones. So starting from here, I count 21 and then I bring it in. If I go all the way to the end of the loom, it just comes out way too big for my wrist size. So 21 straight ones is plenty for me. But if your wrist is bigger than 7.5 inches, you can certainly continue down the loom. You just might need more bands if you do that. So I just need to make sure that I've laid 21 really quickly. And I did. Okay, so I've laid 21. I am now going to bring it in like so. And then repeat the exact same on the left side. And I am losing my, well, I'm not losing my voice. I'm actually getting it back. I already lost it. Me and my son have been sick for the past two weeks on and off. It keeps coming and going. So if I get a little raspy, that is why. <laughs> And then you're going to just bring it in just like we did on the right side. Do that on the left, bringing it in like that. We will come back to the beginning of our loom. And now you're going to decide whatever color you want to use where my white is on this one. So that straight band right there. You can use the same color as the border, which I like to do that a lot. But today I am going to use this Caribbean bluish like turquoise color. So for this, it's very easy. We are just going to lay straight bands going right down the center. All the way up until you reach the end of your border bands. Just like so. So that is what your loom should look like right now. 
Take a second, go through, push all of those down, and I will tell you what we are going to do next. So now you're going to want to choose whatever color you want where my pink is, right here. And of course you can do different colors if you want, like on this one. Let's see. Actually, I did not switch the colors where the pink is because that's where my blue is. But you could do that if you wanted to. It's the next layer that I actually alternate it. But you can do so many different things with this. I'm going to stick to one color. Again, that is where the pink is. It kind of sits up a little higher than the blue. I am going to use navy blue. And we're going to be laying V bands, as I call them. So starting on the middle here, just go diagonally left and diagonal right. Go up to the next middle row, do the same thing. And we're going to do that all the way down the loom. It's very simple. So if you did want the multiple colors, you would just alternate them instead of using all of the blue like I'm doing. Okay, so I've just laid my last V. This is what your loom should look like. You can push it down a little bit to make the next step a little easier. What we're going to need to do now is apply a regular cap band to the center of each of those. So it's a double cap band, not a triple. So what I like to do is grab the band. I place it on the pin. I kind of pull it to the right. And I use like the corner of my finger to push it. Well, that didn't work, did it? I kind of do it fast, but I wrap it, pinch it, and then use the corner of my finger to push it on. Now, everyone I'm sure has their own method of adding a cat band. You can also do it by using your hook. Put it on, wrap it around like so. And then you would just need to grab the entire cat band and stretch it on. Doesn't matter how you do it, as long as you have it on wrapped twice. Um, you could technically do the triple triple cap band. If you have very stretchy bands, you might notice that you have to do that. Um, you wouldn't know, unfortunately, until the bracelet came off. Um, but the design itself can come out looking different if the bands are too stretchy and they don't hold their shape well. I haven't noticed that with all of the bands that I've used, but I can see that being an issue if the bands are not a great quality and they stretch just too much. Um, but the, let's see, where are they? These ones were very stretchy and they seem to come out okay. So I feel like everyone will be all right. But if you do find like, oh, they're not popping up like they should, I would say to try triple capping it and see if that works better. But as you can see, I made a ton of them and I did not have that issue, so. So I've just applied my very last cap band right there. Make sure I didn't miss any. So once you are done doing that, we are gonna now turn our loom around. Don't worry, I know we still have some bands left, but we're gonna do, deal with those in a minute. We have to do a little bit of looping before we move on. So the first thing that we're going to do is loop out the blues back to themselves. So we'll be going inside the cap band and looping the blues down back to the, their original pins. So I'll go in this middle one right here, move that cap band, grab the top band, and we're going to loop that down. Now the only thing I will say is you might want to hold the cap band from behind the pin because you can easily pop that cap band off by accident. I do it all the time and I'll probably do it in this video. But that is what it should be. 
loop down like so. We'll come up to the next pin, go inside that cat band. You grab the top one. If you laid them in the same order that I did, the first one will come down to the left and the second one will go down to the right. So I'm going to turn my loom just a little bit because my hand gets in the view of the camera. Like I said already, you just have to be a little bit careful when you first start looping it out because the cap band does want to come off. Like I said, I find this bracelet to be very easy, but yet it is fun. I like the technique that is used in it, um, but there's not a lot to it, I will say that. So just continue looping down all of your V-bands. Okay, so I finally got to my last one at the top. I probably fast forwarded or sped it up. So if I am ahead of you, continue on looming, hit the pause button until you're caught up. And now from here, we're going to come back to the beginning. And we need to loop the back side of the center band that is right here. So we need to be looping the back side, not the front side. So if you come to the middle pin, you're going to come in from the side here. You're going to grab the top part of the band there. It is the second one down. If you're counting the cat band, then the next one. You're just going to grab it and you're just going to pull it over the pin and let it go. And it will sit just like that. Come up to the next one. Reach in through this space right here. You're going to grab it. doesn't matter where you grab in here, I always slide my hook up. It picks the band up on its own and then I just flip it over. You can also turn your loom around with the openings facing away and do it this way where you're going in like this and flipping it up. I'll show you that again. So you're coming in from behind, going under, grabbing the second band that's in there and just flipping it up. It's all a matter of what is easier for you. This seems pretty easy actually, so you might want to do it this way. So no matter which direction your loom is facing, you're grabbing the second band down. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm grabbing. Second band down. You're just pulling it up and letting it go. I like to make sure that these are straight and not twist it so that it lays better when I'm all done. And that was the last one. So now what I would recommend if you are caught up to where I am and have all those flipped over, I'm going to hit the pause button and you go through just like I am and push everything down because we are going to lay another layer. So for the next layer you're going to choose, it will be the blue that's in this one here. And like I said before, on this one I alternated every row and used different colors. And that's where these orange, yellow, and green are. So again, it's the blue there. I'm going to use gold. I'm going to stick to all one color. I just think it will be easier, but you can certainly switch it if you'd like to. And we are going to do literally the exact same thing that we did with the blues. We're going to start on the center, and we are going to lay a V. 
So out to the left, out to the right, come up to the next one, do the same thing. I know this gold doesn't pop as much as other colors, but I need to use some of the other colors that I have because I'm starting to run out. And I figured it's the same exact step as the blue, so it's simple enough to follow along. So just like we did the blue, lay these Vs all the way up the loom. Okay, so I have finished laying all of my V's. Um, before we do anything else, keep the rest of your bands close by because we will need them in a second. But before we do anything else, we are going to need to do a flipping step again. Just like we did with the Caribbean blue, flipping that up and over, we now need to do that but with the navy blue. So if you look here from behind, we have the two bands that are our V bands. And then the next set of bands will be the cat band from our navy blue. So you're going to grab that entire cat band. And you're going to flip it over and release. We're going to come up to the next pin here. And I know everything's a little bit squished. But if you just push your hook in there, you'll see your cat band. And you just bring it up and over. As long as you know which bands you're grabbing, it's easy. So whatever your first layer of diagonal bands were with the cat band, that is what you're grabbing. And just like I said with the first set that we were flipping over, you can do this with the loom facing you or facing away from you. Doesn't matter. Just make sure you get the entire cat band. Like right there, I accidentally only grabbed one band. Make sure you're actually getting the entire cat band flipped over. Once I get it on my hook, I just pull it out towards myself. And then let it go. And that was my last one there. So just like we did before, I would push them down a little bit because we are going to add the cat band onto the centers like we did with the blue. And this is also just a double cat band, not a triple. So starting on the first center one, just going to place a double cat band right on the middle and repeat that all the way up the loom. The only center pin that will not have a gold cap band will be the very, very last row because I will use the border color for that cap band to start the looping, but I'll tell you that in just a second. I am going to get these laid really quick, and then I am going to come back and meet you guys here. Okay, so hit the pause button until all your cap bands are on. I have all mine on. Once you're caught up, you're going to turn your loom around so that the openings are facing you. Um, we are now going to add our white cap band down here at the very bottom center just so it's done. I used the white one because that's the color I used for the border. So now all of our centers are capped. And we are now going to loop the gold bands down just like we did with the blue ones the first time. So we'll start right here. Move the cap band. Grab the top gold diagonal band. Loop it down to itself. Go back in, grab the second diagonal band, and bring that down to the right, back to itself. Come up to the next row and do the same thing. And don't forget to be careful that you don't pop that cap band off.
Okay, so I've got all my golds looped down. And now what we're going to do is come back to the beginning. And we need to loop up the bottom layer on each row. So the bottom layer of mine is the blue. So on this first pin here on the side, there's two bands. It's right here under the two that we just looped out, which is my gold right there. You're going to grab the two bands under it. You're just going to lift it up and let it go. I do one row at a time. I find it easier than going back and forth, but we will be doing this on both sides. So it will be band three and four if you're counting. I know that all mine are blue. If you're using the same color, it's easy to identify. You just go up. You can grab it from right here from going underneath or to make it a little faster, you can kind of grab it right here in that space so that you don't have to like push your hook in and worry about grabbing the gold. I find it easier to just do it right here in the space. But either way, just make sure you are grabbing both of those bands and not just one. We are going to flip and release. Go to the right side and do the exact same process. And that is what it should be looking like. Let's make sure you didn't forget any. From here, we will come back to the start. And we are going to come down to the center pin here. And we're going to be looping up the bottom band in the center row. So that's going to be my Caribbean blue that's right there. You can see it right here too under my cap band. So we're just going to go in the center, move the cap band out of the way. Grab the next band, which is my Caribbean blue. And you're just going to loop it straight up and connect. Go into that pin, grab the very bottom band inside of there, and loop it straight up. You're just going to loop it all the way up, just like you're doing any kind of single chain looping. You might want to push these down a little bit because it gives you a little more room to attach it. <laughs> that way you don't have to worry about it popping off. Now I normally do make sure like all my bands aren't twisted and that they're laying correctly when I'm looming. Um, but for the sake of the video, I didn't keep fixing it as I was doing it. But if that's something that you want to do, you can certainly take the time to make sure that your bands aren't getting all twisted as you're looping. Alrighty, so I have all of my centers looped up. And now we are simply going to loop up the borders, which is very easy. So come back to the beginning. In the center, we will loop the top band out to the right. The second one will go back to itself, which is to the left. And then you can go up either side, whichever one you want to, and we'll loop it all the way up. I'm going to start with the left. And you're just going to move everything out of the way so that you can grab the very bottom band and simply loop it forward. Go into the next pin. Make sure you're moving the top bands out of the way to grab the bottom. And loop it up. So this part is very simple.
when you get to this top one here, you're just going to bring it into the middle. Push it down some so it doesn't pop off. You're going to come to the right and repeat the exact same process that you did on the left. And just like on the other side, we're going to grab the top one and bring it into the center, like so. That's it. Now we're going to close it up. So grab your C-clip. You're going to locate the band that we laid there at the beginning, right here. And I hold it with one hand, and then I go into the other, move everything out of the way, and grab the very top band that's in there. Bring the two ends together and attach your C-clip. Now I do like to hold this C-clip with my hand until I get this first row off because I don't want it to pop off. Then I grab it here at the base and simply pull up. So when I take it off of the loom, sometimes I do have to do a little bit of fixing depending on which bands I used. Always stretch it like this. I even go a section at a time to just help things fall into place. But sometimes if the bands, like for example right here, see my blue is like tucked in? I kind of stretch it out a little bit and I use my nail or you can just use your finger. And you want to kind of push up with it and then I roll it forward to get it to pop out. You can even do it upside down where your chain is facing down and do it rolling it towards you. It's a little easier to roll it towards you and that can help them pop up a little bit more too. Because sometimes they do get stuck in. I haven't really noticed it with a lot of the other bands. Um, but for some reason this one had a couple of them that I did have to fix off of camera. It could have been how bad I was pulling it too. I usually use my hook and like release the sides and then pull it up. I was yanking pretty hard on it so that probably tucked them in more than normal. So that's all that you have to do. So you're just going to locate the cap band, which is kind of tucked under. And then locate the cap band. I mean, excuse me, the C-clip. Attach it together like so. And there you have my completed ring pop bracelet. So I certainly hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know I love this design. I cannot wait to see your renditions. If you do make one, don't forget to tag me on Instagram under Loves to Loom. I love seeing your rendition so much. I wish I was able to get more out to you guys, but it's just been a little harder to get one out each week. But I am definitely going to try to continue keeping them coming as often as I can. Don't forget to hit that like button if you did like this video. And I'll see you guys all really soon at my next video. Thank you so much, guys. Bye!